Good morning, everybody. The title of this short, very short video is Sex Education, the Hidden Dangers. The past 30 years have seen a substantial increase in the provision of sex education in secondary schools, yet the UK still has the highest rate of teenage conceptions in Western Europe and sexually transmitted infections have continued to rise. There is no evidence whatsoever that starting sex education in primary school will produce results that secondary school sex education has failed to deliver. Sex educationalists try to allay our fears by saying, we're not teaching them about sex at the age of five, but it's important they know the correct names for their sexual organs. I cannot, for the life of me, see how that helps. It's unconvincing to say young people are at risk for want of learning the proper names for parts of their anatomy at primary school. The age at which children should be taught about sex is a matter for parents to decide on a child-to-child -child basis. There is no set age by which a child needs to know X, Y, and a Z, so it's vital that a centralized sex education curriculum is not imposed on all schools. Introducing sex education at an early age runs the risk of breaking down the children's natural sense of reserve Children do have a sense of embarrassment and protection towards their private parts. Far from being a hindrance, these natural inhibitions are healthy and they provide a necessary safeguard against sexual abuse and casual attitudes towards sexual intimacy later on. Sex education is not the same as teaching children about road safety. Sex education, as it is taught in many schools, is part of the problem of our sexual, uh, sexualized society, not the solution. Adding more sex education to the curriculum at an earlier age will only exasperate the problem. There's very little that children need to know, in fact. The most important thing is to develop the character of the child so that they learn self-constraint. Parents don't need to have a formal talk with children about sex, but children do observe things. If parents have a blasé approach to sexual issues and allow television programs and music with high levels of sexual content at home, their children are likely to view sexual intimacy as something cheap and will act accordingly. However, if parents speak about sexual matters with modesty and ex exercise control over sexual content in the media at home, then their children will see sexual intimacy as something valuable and worthy of respect. It's as simple as that. Thank you all for listening and God bless you all.